Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and we take junk and things that have been discarded and we turn them into home decor that we sell in our shop at jamierayvintage.com. And we also use paint and products from jamierayvintage.com. Yeah, we've got some ironwork and designs transfers here today and a couple of mirrors. This one is thrifted. I don't remember where we got this one. We've had this one for a very long time. It's been in the and barn. And we did an old transfer, I think, that's been retired on it. And I did it crooked. So we never sold it. I mean, can like, you tell that it's crooked? I Like if you put it straight, they probably look straight, but it's like just slightly off in its words. See, there you can see it's crooked there. Yeah. But anyway, could never fix it. I didn't take the backer off. It still has its original backer on this old mirror. So I'm going to work on scraping this off. We're going to fix this finally after, I think this was a Waste Not Wednesday project, probably no, like four or five we years we ago. We a new release. Oh. And we did a bunch of projects all together, I believe. So we don't seal mirrors when we do the transfers on them. This mirror was $15 at DI. And then we have another mirror. If I get to it, I might paint this one and then get to the other mirror. And I don't always um, tape them off, but I didn't want to have to mess with cleaning the glass since we were on waste. Although I am going to have to clean it, but it'll be easier to like clean the dirt off than it is to clean on paint. Even so. after like four years and living outside for a little while on the back porch over at the other shop, this adhesive still has like sticky to it. Well, th so this is a really good point to talk about. We put IOD transfers or mirrors and people tell us, how do you seal them? This was done years ago. We put the IOD transfer on there. It lived outside. It's lived in the barn. The transfer is not coming off without a razor blade. It's been super hot, like 100 plus degrees. So what that tells me is that you don't need to seal the transfers. They should not be in direct sunlight, but no transfers should be. Um, if you want to clean your mirror after you put the transfer on it, my suggestion is to put a not harsh chemical cleaner, like not a harsh cleaner on a damp rag and just lightly go over the top. Don't like spray it directly or take a dry cloth and go over it. If you want to seal your transfers, then get yourself a little teeny tiny artist brush and go to town. This only applies on mirrors. If you're doing furniture or decor, seal your transfers yeah. all you want. Um, but that if you get off the transfer at all on your mirror, it's going to look like cloudy. So you can't just like brush sealer over the top of your mirror because you can't see through it. So this is what they would consider, I guess, off label use because it's made to go on furniture. But we put them on mirrors, windows, all kinds of things. And I'm going to recreate one of our most popular looks. We did a video probably like four years ago with apothecary and flora parasiensis. I can never say it. Um, back when they <laughs> used to come in a in tube there. instead of a pack. Let me get a apron on here today. I got to say, I do like the flat packs better than the tubes. The tubes took up a ton of space. The tubes were a pain in the butt to um, ship too. And by the way, we just got more of these red and white aprons in stock. Finally, we're getting ready for Christmas. That's when we sell the most of them. I get asked about this apron a lot and it's not always in stock, but we just ordered some. Let's see. Goo gone. Goo gone might help get that off. But I'm thinking just lemon oil. Yeah. Once I get this off, I do have some residue from where the lettering was um, and the adhesive for the transfer. So I'm going to try lemon oil first. I do have some industrial strength goo gone made for removing floor adhesive in the garage. Yes. So I might try that if, that if that doesn't work. I don't know if we have in our Jamie Ray Vintage lemon oil, but I know my mom has some that she ordered. I have to go borrow some from her. We do actually sell lemon oil on our website. That's pretty good quality. It's not made by us. We remove a lot of sticky stuff and stickers, yeah. and you'd be surprised how much furniture we get, dressers especially, that have tape, tape and stickers and just stuff all over them. We're not even the talking like transfers, just like random stickers. This design on mine is going to be fairly straightforward because painting with this cottage color, it has a built-in sealer. I'm pretty much getting single coat coverage. I'm going to distress it once it's dry, and then I'll put some gold wax on it. And I think this will be done. So it won't. It won't be too hard. What I love about this mirror is it's giant, 
and it's also beveled, which is really pretty. And then the other mirror that we have is beveled as well. Is this Americana? Yes. I'm using cottage color and Americana, very close to apothecary. So that's why I thought it'd be good to recreate that look. The, the main difference is that this has a built-in sealer, so I'm not going to have to seal it afterwards. I feel like it's a little darker than apothecary. It is. It's not the exact <clears throat> same shade, but it's going to get us that similar look. And once you do all the waxes and stuff. Yeah. So, and this, my, um, that one is wood too. That one has like molds on it, but it's wood. And then mine is a solid wood that's carved. So I love the older mirrors for that. They're just so much better made than what you can find. To find a solid wood framed mirror now would cost you well, hundreds this, and hundreds this of dollars. Well, this size, you'd probably be like four or $500 for yeah. this one that I've got. And I round. think this one is selling for like 189 or two. I can't remember. I can't, I couldn't tell you straight off the top of my head. Oh, 289 289 for the well that's a big mirror though yeah it's gonna if it gets shipped it's gonna be a pain in the derriere and cost way more than the website will charge because shipping something this large especially a mirror you have to go you have to make the box a lot bigger so if you guys are resellers and you do ship mirrors make sure you take into account that you can't just have a box just barely bigger than your mirror you've got to have a box that gives you cushion all the way around so that way you got to put foam in there it's it's a few hour ordeal to prep a mirror for shipment it's time to get a little more aggressive with this ironically we've had a billion well not a billion but other things break but we've never uh, that i know of i don't think we've had a mirror break maybe it's just because there's you expect them to break so you really when we're shipping yeah, you really package them super crazy so that way it can fall off the top of a building and still I think survive. we have less break than we, we feel just because when it breaks, it's like it it's, all, feels it's like a traumatic situation. We're <laughs> sad that because usually we're shipping one of the kind of items that we can't get again. Yeah. And so if something breaks in shipping, then we're like, oh, man. Well, Maria and Kaziah are really good. Maria used to be the postmaster, and Kaziah used to work for the UPS store. So they both have a shipping background, and that's super helpful. And then Ivy, our shipping manager, has been around for a long time, so she shipped a lot of things, and she knows. All right, I'm almost done with this end, and then I can throw this outside. Oh, sorry, guys. Throw this outside to dry, and I'll grab our next We have two victim. mirrors. We'll I be might be here total. the whole time peeling this off, so. It, it's fine. People always ask us how to remove a um, transfer off a mirror or a window, so I feel like this is a good way to show them. We're, they're always like, can you just peel it off? I'm like, well. <laughs> it's made to last, so there's a little bit more involved in that. Okay, I was seeing if there were any questions, but it looks like everybody's just talking about the weather. The weather here is very good. We're going to be... Low, low 90s, like 91, 92, and in the 80s for the next few weeks. And I don't, once we're out of August, we're pretty much at a risk of anything in the high 90s. Yeah, um, we did have like a heat wave come through last year and we hit 100 in September for a couple of days, but that was just weird. That was weird. Last night we were at a football game. You're going to get your, you already have right there. Anyways, um, Last night we were at a football game and it was like going threatening to rain. So it cooled off and the clouds came in. It was the perfect football weather. Yeah. Jack's team lost, but at least they didn't have to lose in the heat. They're a new team. Half their team has never played football before. So new coach, new team, getting everything figured out. I think it'll be okay. They, they didn't lose by a ton and a couple of the – the touchdowns were like broken plays where the kid just dodged yeah. a tackle. And the one kid was really good on their team. I think they'll get it sorted out and, and be pretty good this year. A couple, couple games in and they'll have it, they'll have it all I gotta, dialed in. Zeb, can you do me a favor? Cause you have you bigger arms. You need to hold arms. that can out? You, yeah, hold on. I missed a spot on this side. Okay. I mean, I could do it, but not very delicately and you're better. So if you want to haul yes. that out for me. Yes, I will. Oops, hold on. There we go. I'll get started on the next mirror. Oh, that's smart to use the hanger on the back. 
So we have three transfers we're going to be using today. That, that frame there is going to get the flora parisiensis because the design just lends itself to fit on that giant mirror. So layout's going to be simple. Then I also picked up painterly florals. Haven't decided which one that's going to go on. And Elysium, which is one of the new transfers from the last release. I actually thought Elysium may be on the other one. I don't know. But for, for sure, Flora is going on the big rectangle one. I'm going to need you to maybe hunt down that lemon oil for me. Okay. Ooh. Let me get this one taped and painted. Because you're going to be scraping for a minute. Because you got Do you want it so you can scrape or you want it after you scrape? Oh, for after. Okay. I'll get it by the time you're done, which is going to be a hot minute. Yeah, I'm halfway done. How long have we been live? 10 minutes? Okay, this one, I feel like I need to decide what color, I mean, what like piece I'm going to put it on. It, ironically, on the back of Elysium, these are all three pieces that we painted. Not on this one, though. These are not mine. Okay, so color-wise, I could do sunflowers on this one, I think would be pretty. So what should we paint it with sunflowers? Um, I wonder if we have aviary. I was going to say aviary would be good. Yeah, we something might like a some dark green. And then I'll save Elysium for you. Let me go look and see if we have some aviary. We are trying to knock out all of our work today for the week. <laughs> we will We will most likely fail. We usually do. We, well, usually, we don't fail. We just give ourselves. We usually don't give it all, get it all done. And we're like, huh, I guess that'll have to wait until next week. <laughs> but tomorrow is our anniversary. Back to school happened for all the kids. Jack is our only elementary school kid left. Everybody else is in junior high. Eliza is technically a freshman, but the freshmen go to junior high. They do seventh, eighth, and ninth all together here. And then the high schools have uh, 10, 11, 12 in them at least in our school district. There's a couple of high schools that, here in Utah that, that do it regular, like uh, freshman through senior you know, at the maybe, high school. Maybe I'll do Hey Sailor. But they're, uh, they're all off to school today. Odelia starts college next week. Maybe Harrington. <laughs> I, I didn't help Harrington out at all. He's been doing his own thing and uh, He's been trying to get a transcript from the high school for what seems like a month. I think he finally got it. Um, Can you open that for me? But Well, we didn't help Odelia out either. She, did, she yeah, registered true. herself for class. I that's figure true. if they can't register themselves for school, then, they're not really then that maybe they're not that about committed it. to it. <laughs> but anyway, I, if he gets it done, I've, I've freed some funds up for him to help him with college because he kind of surprised us and said, hey, I'm actually going to go because he was at the at probably the beginning of the spring. He was like, yeah, I'm going to go. And so we were like set a little aside for that. And our budget isn't that tight that we couldn't help him out, but it would make us tight if we didn't plan for it kind of thing. Well, we already paid for Odelia's, but I guess if he doesn't go, then we could spend that money somewhere else or just save it for the next semester. Yeah. Um, but I think he's been waiting to try to get a car because his car hasn't been running and he's decided he's not going to fix that one because it's old and got multiple other problems. So old he's just busted. selling it to a friend who has a Jeep for parts. The engine runs really good, but the transmission on his Jeep doesn't run. So, but hopefully he's got like a couple days to figure that out and then all the classes will be full and he'll have to wait until next semester. Hopefully? Is that what you said? Yeah, hopefully he gets his foot sorted out. Oh, I thought you said hopefully the classes are full. I'm like, no, we don't want them to get full because he's he just turned 21 and he does have some college. I think he took some college classes in high school and then he has a semester from when he went to yeah, he's got some Nebraska, although I don't really know. His Nebraska how much... transcript, he said he got that over and that's all in. So he's got some credits there. Probably like, I think he took 12 credits. Yeah, but did he finish 12 credits? That's, yeah, that's I didn't monitor COVID that. I don't on. know. I think he did because he was on the wrestling team and he had to like, keep his grades they, up. yeah, he had to keep his grades up. 
But your kids are adults, unless you're like a big micromanager. It's not really your job to know exactly everything that they're doing. I actually, I actually pull way, way back. And I'm like, your success is up to you, buddy. I'll help you if you need it and if you ask. But, you know, I'm not going to be over here like, I, you got to do all these things that are going to make you happy because they'll make me happy if you do I actually <laughs> don't micromanage my kids even when they're younger. I never register my kids for their classes, not junior high or high school. They have to do it themselves. And the, usually the older siblings will help because they've done it before. Because I feel like kids should register. Sometimes people say, well, what classes are your kids taking? I'm like, I don't know. I didn't register them. They they know when they need to register. And then they can pick out exactly what they want. Because I, I obviously have ideas for my kids. But I want them to take whatever classes they want to take. Because I never want them to be like, well, you forced me to take this. Man, some parents are helicopter parents. That is not my life. Well, and I think it really helps them to like be responsible adults. Like Harrington graduated and he figured out how to get his own car insurance and and uh, register for college. Like we didn't help him the first time he registered when he had wrestling either. Yeah. He just so took the classes he thought he wanted. Harrington would be going to school locally now. There Odelia's going to UVU and that's where Harrington's playing. Honestly, on. he probably could walk on to a wrestling team. He is pretty good wrestler. Um even, you know, he'd probably have to get in a little bit of shape because he's been working and not just working out. Yeah, but I don't think he wants to do that. No, he said it was like college wrestling, even for just one semester. He said it was like really tough on his body. All right, I got this one taped off. And he's like, he's like, I'd rather just pay. <laughs> he's like, I don't need that scholarship. Well, UVU is not super um, expensive. So what's the point in getting a full ride when it's only, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of putting your body through that to pay for $6,000 worth of school? Yeah. It doesn't equate other than if you just want to be in a really good wrestling team because UVU does have a bomb wrestling team. Yeah, they're, they're... But ne Harrington's never been worried about impressing people or like appearances. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's a really cool wrestling team. I want to be on it. He doesn't care. This is what's left of that transfer. <laughs> oh, I told you I get some lemon. Like you want to go grab little... it from my mom? Yeah, I'll go ask her. It's like a bunch of little letters and stuff. <laughs> Hopefully this looks good with the sunflowers. I think it will. I want to put it in my fall display. We had a bunch of um, hay sailor in there and all my corbels sold and a few other things in that fall display sold. So I've got to paint some more hay sailor. I was thinking about painting some aviary this week to throw that into the fall display because a lot of people mentioned that they think it needs like a kind of a moody green. Do you have a video using shipwrecked wax? No, I'm going to be 152% honest. It's not really my vibe. So I don't really know what I, I've, I've used it. I mean, do I have a video? Probably somewhere. Like when it first came out, I used it with copper patina, but um, it's not, it's kind of like Debbie using white paint. She doesn't do it that often. Shipwrecked. I just haven't had a call for it. Turquoise wax isn't something I use a whole lot. It doesn't mean that shipwrecked wax isn't good. It just means I don't use it in my designs. But if you, if we were to go maybe way back and look about when it was released, I can't even remember when that was. There we are used it some, on quite a few things. Yeah, we used it quite a bit to show how to use it, but it's probably not something we're going to use It does a, a real good job with verdigris. I almost want to add, when I'm doing that, like some boho blue to it or something. Yeah, you can add color to it, like if you needed to intensify it. Okay, so this is just lemon oil. Carolyn said definitely add green. All right, well, we'll see about that. Oh, that is zipping that right off. That is amazing. Lemon, lemon oil is the bomb. I'm going to have to degrease it because it's yeah, actually Yeah, really I don't oily. even know if we have Windex, but we have vinegar and water. I'm pouncing it a little bit to get it down into the cracks. This mirror has a ton of detail. And that lemon oil is just cutting through that. 
So now you know if you got to remove one on a mirror, razor blade and then lemon oil. Just so. be careful with your razor blade not to dig your corners in. Keep it real flat. You don't want to scratch your mirror. Yeah. If you yeah, if you don't hold it flat, you will scratch your mirror. About the time that I get this frame finished, the other one should be dry and we'll get that first transfer going. So have you decided what color you're going to paint that? Yeah, I have white linen out. Oh, perfect. I might. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go we have white some linen. Crockery? You want to make it creamy? Um, I, I think I want to just go white with the black and then okay. I'm going to go with some gold over that. That'd be pretty. I'm just happy to have three mirrors, mirrored projects finished. The problem is we're running out of wall space at the shop, so. We're going to have to go high. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll get them all hung up cute. Okay, almost there. This hay sailor cover is really good. I will have to seal it, but that won't be too hard. That lemon oil smells so good. It's I didn't strong. eat breakfast, it's, so. It's like I'm baking, it's like I'm baking a lemon cake or something. Deborah says, I painted my grandmother's buffet in Hey Sailor. That's the color I'm using, this navy. And use black wax and IOD transfers. And it looks amazing. I love that. Um, what is he using, the Gina Marie? He's just using lemon oil to remove the residue from um, the transfer that he scraped off. Caitlin, can you drop the lemon oil? I think we have a yeah, link we for have, the one. I think we still have some. We have lemon oil. That actually, our lemon oil is really pretty. It has a picture on the front that Zeb did of a doble. And it's made by a company that like specializes in essential oils. It's really great quality. Yeah, I water, our lavender and I watercolored that picture that's on there. Yeah. <laughs> that picture is cool. Well, it's funny because she follows us. I uh, think is it Soulful Essence? I can't remember. Yes. Um, and she pulled the picture and was like, here, this will look great. And I was like, that is the best idea ever. Okay, do you mind um hauling this outside for me and grab me that other mirror? This one is also beveled, just slightly smaller, but more detailed in the frame. Oh, this one doesn't. We use the lemon oil a lot to just remove like sticky price tag. Can restores. you open that door for me? We're going to be off oh. camera for just a sec. Just a second. We'll be right back. We can keep talking to we'll you. We'll be right back. We're coming. Oh, I oh, think I got blue paint on my neck. My other uh, frame isn't quite dry, I don't think. Not quite? But I could probably go ahead and start the transfer work. It looks dry to me. It's just, oh, there's a couple little spots. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll, um, I'll We're going to have to get out here and clean this concrete up. We've been setting yeah. a lot of things out here this summer to dry. Our front walkway is this cute little stepped concrete, and it's got a little, it's got a little paint on it. All right, guys. Sorry. We're back. And we're back. I'm going to wash the hay sailor off my hands, and then I'll get started cleaning I think up. I got some blue paint on my neck. What? Yep. Oh, well. What did you, on my mirror? On my neck. Oh, your neck's <laughs> fine. Yeah, there's like paint, uh, there's always paint that sits down into the design. You could heat, probably heat gun that real fast. Let me pull that out. That's why it's not dry, because it's like stuck down into it. All right, so we, we can't find our Windex. It's probably upstairs in one of the <laughs> bathrooms from a kid cleaning the mirror. Who knows? Um, damp paper towel. This is just distilled white vinegar. Right. And I'm just gonna do a little splash of this on here. And I'm just pull, I'm pulling up the paint where it's puddled down into the design of the mirror. It likes to do that. And that'll help it dry faster. And that is pulling up all that oil. That oil's coming off now too. Did you leave Cody up in our room, Rex? Cody is with Grandma. No, he sounds like he's stuck in our room. No, nope, he's with Grandma. Hmm. But he probably heard Rex. And he's like, "Hey, I'm in here." They don't like. They like to fight, but they they're like frenemies. <laughs> they don't like to be apart. So now Rex will go sit by Grandma's door and he'll paw at it about every three seconds until she lets him in. I'm not putting any more paint on. I'm literally just pulling the paint out of the details and spreading it out so that way it dries faster. All right, now I'm gonna finally wash this hay sailor off my hands. I don't wanna transfer that. The DIY paint is so pigmented. I've ruined many a projects by not washing it off my hands before I started something else. Okay. 
Let's see if my tape did the trick. All right, I'm just gonna go straight vinegar because I got some cloudy spots. Just a little drop on it there. Oh, there's, see, that's why I never tape. There's still a little bit. I should be able to scrape it off. Every though. time. It's easier to scrape, but can, like you, if you have to scrape, you, you, you might as well have not taped. Well, I tried. Tried to be neat and tidy. And it's still a little wet, too. All right, that is almost ready for us to put another transfer bag on it. Well, or did you get to paint it first? Yes. And of course, there's always that little bit of tape that just decides to be a stinker. And it's now very small. So, Some people use playing cards, and I do know that, but I also don't have any. And I don't remember to buy them like wherever it is that people buy them, the dollar store. Good enough. Okay. This mirror has some stuff on it. Other Elaine, than adhesive. that is very true. Jamie's has fingerprints. I could see them. I know that. <laughs> She's like, needs to be cleaned off before you put the transfer. There's a whole lot more than fingerprints on this. It does need cleaned. I'm not going to just throw the transfer on. I'm actually going to heat gun the edges so that way I can razor blade them because there was a little bit of paint that got underneath and then I will clean the mirror because you want it to be clean before you put the transfer on. What transfer were you wanting to do on this? On yours? Yeah. I was going to do Elysium. Ah. Yeah, this, this mirror has lived out in the garage and it came straight from the thrift store, which means it was probably dirty because the thrift store, I always like it when the thrift store charges like full retail on stuff. And I'm like, you didn't even wipe that down before you threw that on there and shoved it with a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Like, if you want full price, you best put some effort in there. Okay. Is that old mirror? Is that an old mirror? It might be nicotine on what? On this? I don't know. It could, I mean, it's it's like it's second or third time of us cleaning it. It's probably just from sitting out on the back porch and it's just got gross. That mirror needs to be washed some more. Yep. I'm going to paint it and then I'll wash it again. And wash it again. Yep. Oh, they said use the carrier sheet from the transfers to put under the edge. That would be smart. All right. I need your razor blade so I can just tidy up the edge of this. Because even though I taped it, it... Ew, your razor blade's dirty. It's yeah. got transfer it's got on some it. transfer on it. This razor blade probably needs replaced. It's done many of projects. So I'm not going to bother uh, trying to tape this one off. You're not. With the round edge. Oh, yeah, that would be a pain. I'm also probably going to wet distress it before it's dry because I'm going to pull a lot of this back. And it'll end up having like a washed look. And then I don't have to do two coats either. Whoa. It's not what you want. Did you, you just spilled a lot of paint. I tried to slide it. Careful it not stuck. to, please be careful not to splatter on mine. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to splatter over there. I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm slightly hangry. 
Oh. It's just not. You worried you won't be able to control yourself? I don't. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble on camera. I just take the mirror out and throw it in the street. <laughs> fit of rage. Can you fix the camera? It um, oh, yeah. on half an hour. All right. Might be kind of comical. I've never seen you get mad like that. Mm, I did threaten to run your Xbox over when we were newlyweds because you wouldn't stop playing video games. And then you just told me you'd go buy another one, and we were fairly broke, so I didn't try it. <laughs> Zeb doesn't really play video games now, but that was back in the day. I played a lot when I was 20. You sure did. <laughs> we did good to make it through those early years of marriage to get into over 20 years now. 22 years tomorrow. Just like makeup on here. Zeb and I, this fall, we will have been together for 24 years. Basically, grew up together. We're finished raising each other because I feel like even when you're first 18, and legally you're an adult, you're not actually an adult. They should probably bump that back to 25. <laughs> I mean, people don't have like two kids at 18 anymore. <laughs> We had we had two kids by twenty one. I think that's how old I was when I was. I can't remember. I had Harrington right away, but I did. Oops! Oh, now I'm smearing paint. It's not quite dry. I'm just making a giant mess of this. I'm sure there's four hundred people with how to fix it commenting. The thing is, on live TV, sometimes things don't go as planned. If I would have cleaned this mirror better to begin with, then I wouldn't be doing this now. That would have been smart on my part. But mostly just a little bit of water and a little bit of vinegar. You can clean mirrors. Although I might try that oil is not... Rubbing alcohol? Yeah, no. I might just try some Dawn and then rinse that back. Oh. I feel like you're getting the dawn cuts the grease super good you're getting serious there all right i think i got this half done it won't necessarily pull adhesive off like the lemon oil did but it'll pull the lemon oil off let's see all the the idea yeah zeb used soapy water with that blade to get it off easier keep from scratching nancy's been married 48 years in october fun Bonnie says she's 37 years today. Oh, nice. It's been so long that it's hard to remember what life was like when I wasn't married. Like some people have like adult years and like things before they get married, but we got married so young that I'm like, I don't really know. I don't remember life before you much. I mean, I do have it memories, but. It's been a hot minute. Oh, it's a big smear right there. Some of these might be like slight bit slight scratches because this mirror is old. They're not super old, probably like from the 70s, which is 50 years ago now. So I guess that's a that's a hot minute. All right, that's enough paint on that. I'm gonna wet distress it and then I'll clean this mirror some more. I mean, do, you have do you have a fresh paper towel or did you use all of them? Um, there's a whole roll right here. Oh, I need a fresh paper, I need a fresh one. That one has some paint on it and it's making my, I'm almost there. This mirror was just really dirty. Sorry, the squeaky sound. I'm going to go grab a rag so I can wet distress that. Okay. Maybe grab a few rags because you can use those uh, microfiber ones to clean glass. Holy moly, this is dirty. Is 
Sorry, guys. It's probably not very interesting to watch me scrub this mirror, but it is super critical that you get it done because once you've got that transfer on there, you want to be kind of delicate with it. So I'm just making sure every little speck is off. Do you guys remember all the ephemera we brought back from uh, the UK the last time? This is something I'm working on. Looks like so, a crime scene. Yeah, it had a splotch on it. But this is actually just like a lettering, hand lettering book, companion to the plain lettering for map drawing and plans. Uh, and so we actually have the whole book with all the letters in it, but this is the cover and I'm, I'm going to frame this. Well, now that I've cleaned that mirror. Oh, they're looking at our open rafters. I'm glad you guys like them because they were, there still are, there's so much work that still needs to be done. Someday I'm going to get that back up on a ladder and zip off the rest of the nails. Have we even shown the rafters today? Well, I can see them in the mirror reflection. Oh. <laughs> They said, that's so cool, Zeb. Okay. Right, this paint's not dry. The cottage color, if I were to let it dry, mm -hmm. it would uh, almost not come off. I'd have to really put some elbow grease in You're there. You're making a mess. Me? Huh. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna lay this out first, then I'll measure to find the center. Paint's still drying on mine. This one is four sheets. And what I'm going to do, oh, this is the top of it. I might cut off the bottom because there's usually like a little ledge and I like my transfer to come all the way down to the bottom. So, so the whole design is going to fit. The question is, did I, oh, this goes like this. Okay. Where's, do we have a measuring tape? Where's that one that we usually keep? I pulled a lot of that off. Where did you put the measuring tape? It's just right there. It's right there. Oh, sorry. Thirty-five and a half inches. So that's 17 and three quarters. Is that right? I'm just trying to make the uh, the wet distress not look streaky. 35.5 divided by 2, 17 and 3 quarters. My math is solid. Do you have a heat gun out? Mm, yeah. I'm just going to mark it with a little notch and then I'll just touch the paint up. Or I'll just distress it there. The world will never know. Well, except for you guys. So these have a grid system, but I like to have my transfers like sitting right on the bottom. It's okay if that one's floating a little bit, I don't want these to float. I'm gonna cut right on this line so that way it's flush on the edge. The nice thing about transfers and mirrors is they go on really easy. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to put some gold on the floral detail and along yeah. along this uh, rim here. I'll get you guys a close up of what these florals look like once I get it dry. Give me just a sec. I'll pick it up and bring it close to the camera. <clears throat> Sometimes we just do like a light distress, but I actually like a real heavy distress on a lot of things. And it's hard to replicate that because without like making it look super intentional. You want to make things look old and crusty? Yeah. So you got to just, it's hard for me because I got to not make patterns in my distressing. I'm more of a random distresser. Okay. First piece is down. The, the best, like most important thing, Get your first piece straight, get your second piece on there. And I feel like everything else 
goes where it's supposed to. They come with a stick. If you're new here, maybe haven't used one before. They're like clear plastic. We have about 400, but because they're clear, sometimes I lose them. And I'm using Flora Parisiensis. This is one of their older designs. It's been out for a while. Um, very popular. I haven't used it in a hot minute. So if you're new here, you may not have seen me use this one. You're also going to learn how to say floral parisian. Flora says however you say it, like 18 different ways. I, I can never say it the right way. It's a lot of vowels in there. Yeah, I don't know. The nice thing is, like I said, these go on mirrors so easy. So much easier than anything else. Like it will transfer very fast. So I don't know if you guys saw, I spilled over here probably off camera. Um, and I just wiped, I just dipped my brush into that right off the drop cloth. Well, you can't be wasting paint. So sometimes you'll pull it up and the design's still stuck to your carrier sheet. Totally fine. All you need to do is just put it back down and rub it with that stick some more and it will stick to where it's supposed to be. All right. What do you think? I think gold on this is this. I wrote keep with, on, with permanent marker on her stick so they didn't get tossed. And so she could see them. That's smart. They used to be like these black cardboard sticks. And these are so much better. They would break if you push too hard. These are pretty great. And you can use them for a variety of things. Okay, let me show you. This has like some cracks in the molding and... You know some detail that's missing but there you go you can see that pretty well and me <laughs> it's always fun showing mirrors to show off everything you don't necessarily want everyone to see luckily the house is pretty picked up most of the time it's about to get picked up all the time because the kids will be gone yep this morning after jack left she's like She's like, I am so ready to not have kids like sitting around my house eating all the food all day because they we kept them pretty busy. But towards the end of the summer, they They're were just tired. like hanging out and watching TV. They were kind of aimless and we were busy, so we couldn't necessarily give them a lot of solid direction. <laughs> so they were they're were ready to go back to school. Yeah. And they just kind of make a butt imprint on the couch because they just sit there. Oh, we left this out in the sun. It is liquid when do we leave it out in the sun on our way over here it was you in know the, what use one of these and stir it up it was in the back why don't you put that in the freezer and let's work on the next one well that solidifies up if you ever have wax that melts you just mix stir it up first because it will separate when it melts and then just throw it in the freezer just put it right in the ice because that'll help freeze it faster because especially with summer even when we're shipping waxes, sometimes they'll melt and separate. There's nothing wrong with the wax. Just stir it up and throw it in the fridge or freezer. All right. So this is fridge is take probably a, a better option. This is going to take a pause. Set it right back here. We got about 15 minutes. Yeah. So I do want to like maybe just clear wax the other one, like wet distress it or whatever. But I'm not going to worry about the gold wax. We can get straight to putting a transfer on it. But I don't want to pull off the tape until we've done the wax. I hate when I get wax on a mirror. It's a nightmare. Well, why don't I just wax it real quick then? That's what I meant, said. Oh. I said, but don't worry about the gold wax because that won't be right next to the edge. It's not like it's going to get on the gotcha. mirror. That hay sailor is looking really good. I actually like the the hay sailor with the blue of the tape together. That's a good combo. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to look great with that dark underneath. I, I want to pair it with the sunflowers. I think it's going to look really pretty. You did better tape in this one off. I'm not a huge, like I don't have a lot of sunflowers in my house, but I love growing them, but we can like sunflowers are really popular in decor. We can never keep anything sunflower in stock. It always sells really well. We have some pillows we actually need to reorder to have some flowers on them. All right, guys, I'm almost done with this. This has a lot of little teeny detail. That always takes the longest. All right, I broke off the end on that one. First piece done. I think I'm going to do the top piece because that's pretty. That way you guys don't have to watch me do more stem work.
I am using, um, Vicki, I'm using Flora Parasiensis. You should probably look at all the letters and then we could read it right. Um, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's going to help me. Uh, I'm so not, I'm just going oh, clear wax on this. Oh, I'm committed now. And that's what we're using to seal this DIY wax. It's porous, so if we don't seal it, um, if you wipe it or whatever, it'll probably uh, transfer if you wipe it with anything wet. It's stuck. Well, it's not going to be perfect, guys, but it's busy enough. I'll let you fix it. What? It's slightly, slightly off. Oh. And you can only tell right here. I'm just There's still gonna... another little piece of leaf from somewhere. Oh, and... the stress. I should I should have had you help me. It's easier, or it's, it's okay. also easier to not be doing it at an angle, like if it was right in front of me, but I have to share space. I'm, I'm messed up enough of them. I'm pretty good at coming back Zabby and fixing Zabby is real them. good at fixing stuff that I mess up. Well, or me that too. he messes I, up. That one that we did on that dresser was all kinds of crooked. Oh, yeah. And I had to steal like pieces <laughs> from other so parts funny. of the transfer to make it look even. And it, it's fine. It worked out. It worked looked good when we were done. Just know if they ever do a transfer with stripes, I'm out. Yeah, just know it's easier to take a couple extra minutes to make sure it's lined up than to go back and have to like piece it together and fix. The problem with what I'm doing right now is I can see my double chin. Oh. Can you get can you guys see it? Um, I can't believe anything you ship breaks the way your girls pack. So that's the thing that's crazy. We they are good packers, but occasionally stuff literally falls off the back of a truck, or off a conveyor belt, or gets squashed by a larger. Or box. it's on the bottom of like five hundred pound. Yeah, boxes. like we do our best. In fact, some people complain that it takes them so long to open their packages, but the reason being that even as good as they are, things still sometimes have mishaps but we're pretty good i don't i don't like when i work really hard on a project and it doesn't survive i'm still sad we did this really cool urn and it did this was a while ago probably like a year ago send it to texas and it broke and you can i mean we always refund the customer but you can't refund the fact that you can't like find that same piece or finish it exactly the same way it's like art you know Precious art. We put fragile stickers on there, but I don't think they pay attention. Sunflowers make a great backdrop for photos when customer and fans visit the shop. I need to put somewhere they can actually get to because we don't, I don't think our neighbor wants people standing in front of that fence. But um, that would be fun to plant some. I don't know if it gets enough sun to plant some um, in the front or if we could plant them on that one side, but if that doesn't get a ton of sun there. Well, you remember that picture I sent you? How I want the front yard to look in yeah. ten years? We'll work on that. We'll get. We'll plant some. We'll try planting some where we have our swan. If you've ever been to the shop, because that actually is a great area to photograph. Because there's not. It's not like really in the way of anything. And so I had. Uh, I, I found a picture of a garden that's like got like this winding path and just trees and everything growing over like arches and stuff and vines and things. I'm like, Jamie, we should do this in the front yard instead of grass. <laughs> that would be a lot of work. I was actually thinking today as I was looking in that backyard, I'm like, I next year my goal is to spend a little bit more time on the house that we live. So I was like, this is a kind of sad. Hopefully the people that go to the Airbnb in the back will enjoy that garden because I'm like, nobody really gets to enjoy it except for our neighbors and us when we're there. But I, I, I spent a lot of time back there feeding the cow and the chickens. and It's good for your aesthetics. Yeah. I was actually thinking that I might do some flowers on this back fence line if the dogs... That, the problem is our dogs, really. They kind the of yard's never like, been the same. They're real cute, but they're real stinkers. And maybe they'll, you know, they're they're almost two. So they, they got like another year and they'll stop getting into everything. So we can try. Shredding again. everything. And sometimes they might just... You know, Cody's high energy, so he might just shred things his whole life. Actually, Rex is the worst shredder. Like, he's worse than Cody. It's because Rex is nervous. <laughs> so he, like, gets something he chews on it all day. And he randomly ate your butterfly bushes out there. Yeah. But they're, they're coming back, so maybe. There were just literally just roots in the ground, and my butterfly bushes are coming back. 
So if they leave them the heck alone, maybe I'll have some bushes in my backyard. Luckily, our neighbors have really pretty yards, so we can look at their yards. Maybe I'll just ask the neighbor if I can plant what I want to grow on the other side of the fence. And that <laughs> the dogs can't get to it. Todd probably wouldn't care. The pumpkins are absolutely beautiful. Are you talking about our pumpkins? They are. We actually have a few I feel like we need to pick. They're getting wrinkly because the plant's dying. So we're going to need to pick them and put them in the basement at the shop until it cools off because you can't put them out front. or they'll Next year, I'm going to plant the pumpkins in July. Yeah. Well, or plant a few different times. We could have planted pumpkins out in front by where the roses are because the roses. That's what my grandpa eat. always said. Plant, plant your winter squashes in July. Or like end of June. Any questions? Delissa says, what did I miss? Um, a bunch of transfer talk. Zeb removed a transfer from a mirror that's been on there for years. It's literally been, we're, we're slowly trying to get projects out of the barn. It's a hot mess again. We did all that cleaning, but we've had to put stuff back in there. And really the only way to clean it all the way is to just get the project finished. All right, well, there we go. There's like a slight bit of gap here, um, but nothing crazy. It's fine. It's fine. All right, I think I got this mirror. You can see now why Come. I paired this transfer with Americana. Like the color combo is really pretty. How's your mirror coming? I think I got it. You need to heat. Are you gonna need to heat gun it some more before you put the sunflowers on it? No, it's just wax on the edge. So what I like to do with the painterly is to have the flowers come up over the edge. What do you think? Or do you want to just put them inside the mirror? Where is that one? If you do that, you'd have to dry the paint some more. Oh, I forgot to trim the bottom of this. Hold on. Oh, please. So I'm thinking I'll probably just do the edges of this one. Oh no, there goes the stick. Okay, the most, I'm never going to find it. I can't get it. this from this angle. I need you to do it because you're taller. Okay, I'm coming. Because the most here. critical part. This one's ready. Start doing this one. Is this leaf right here? And I can't, I'm not, like my arms aren't long enough to get it matched. Like it was easy to do here, but I can't like reach across and get to there. So that side lines up with that. I'll figure out this design. But oh, these are all individual elements. Yeah, so you can just put them on there. It's going to be tricky for me because I'm, I just like to slap it on there. Like artistry is great, but what if we do the lavender in the middle and then I'll let you do the sunflowers around the side? Hold on. I'm gonna can't, be, I can't talk right now. We can't talk right now. He's doing very precise work. When is the next IOD release? Polari Bomb? I don't know. I know it's coming, but do I know when? Nope. 27 and a half. What are all these half measurements? So 27 and a half is 13 and a quarter. Two, 13, and, 12 13 and three quarters. quarters. 12 no. and three quarters. Let me. No, I think it's 13 and three quarters. Well, you might be right, but I'm going to double check with my calculator. 27.5 divided by 2, 13 and 3 quarters. You were right. Okay, so right there. Just the tiniest little scratch. So that way I know. We're going to just rest it anyways. I already waxed it. Oh, well, we'll put some gold over it or something. Yeah. It's fine. All right, and now I'm gonna cut. Where's those? Can you pass those scissors? Yep. So it's got like this cool circular lavender situation. I'm gonna cut that out, and then I'm gonna let you figure out the sunflowers because. There we go. You guys can see that a little better. I should have done this a while ago. <gasps> well, then they can't see our face. I know you're super cute to look at, but 
and projects. So are you. Uh, okay. Okay. Here's the middle. I love how transfers release on mirrors. I know it's so easy. Okay, there's the middle there. Okay. Perfect. Hopefully that's centered. Makes me nervous. I don't want to have to scrape off another transfer. Where's my measuring tape? Um, it's a little low, but you can work with well, that. I, no, I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, okay, you're measuring. It's 13 and a half off the center on both sides. I don't know why this side looks like. I would measure space. from end to end. Like you got eight there. What's on the other side? Oh, 10 inches. So this is smack dab in the middle at five. So I'm centered. It's an optical illusion because I have 13 and a half inches from each side. And it's 10 inches across, and this is right It's organic. It doesn't have to be centered. It does. I'm going to make people's eye twitch. I'm going to have to hear about it. Or it's going to sit in the barn for five years. Like the crooked one? Like the crooked one. Well, that was legit crooked. <laughs> Crooked's different than centered when you've got lettering. Yeah, that's like an eye twitch situation. The lavender is actually... My personal favorite part of this. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's the wrong one. There's just like a little smudge. You're gonna no, that's I I wet distress with that on the. Oh gosh. Hold please. There's just a little tiny little smudge. I'm like, let me get that with this rag, and then I, I wouldn't the even get it rag. too wet. You mostly just need it dry. That had uh, cottage color on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Eli Delissa said that Eliza is beautiful. She is a cute girl. She's definitely at the age where all the boys are recognizing it. We had three boys over here swimming on Sunday night. The good thing is Eliza's in ninth grade, but still in middle school. Redrick's in seventh grade and starting middle school. And it's helpful to have an older sister. She actually waited at the front of the school for him today. And all of her friends know Redrick. So he's not, you know, it's hard to be a seventh grader. Well, like, she goes to school earlier than him because she started seminary this year. And she chose to do early morning seminary, which is like at seven before school starts. So she already had a class before he even got to school. Yeah, so she met him at the front when I dropped him off. I hope he has lunches with people he knows. He has four classes with his best friend, which is crazy considering we didn't plan it. It just happened. I actually loved middle school. It was my favorite years. But I, from what I understand, it's not everybody's favorite. Okay, that one's on there. All right. Now I got to line up letters. If you line up the other one, I'll scrape it off and then you can come do sunflower layout. Because I'm really nervous about doing that on live TV. Oh no, Sherry said that she's taken her a year to get to some projects. And a lot of her paint is dried up. If it's DIY paint, just add water and stir. Someone said that they just round theirs up in a blender. Yeah, it's, somehow it's not centered exactly. I tried. I tried to tell just, you to measure just, from each side, but you didn't do it. I measured all you sides. You measured from one just side and then over to the other. it all up. Well, I got to line this one up. All right. You line this one up and I will rub it. And then I'll let you do that one. I'm telling you the center of it is in the center. I just feel like the actual wreath itself is organic. 
And so it's not like it's, it's not centered like a in centered some wreath. spots, not centered in others. I don't know how you fix that. This is the fun part here. So Lisa says her favorite thing is Waste Not Wednesday. Oh, we've been on an hour. Yep, we're going to go a little over. All right, so if you notice what I'm doing here, I'm putting this down. So that way it, that doesn't, way it doesn't stick to the rest of this mirror while I line these letters up. That's actually kind of brilliant. Here, I'll hold this so your belly doesn't move in. This is the one that got a little cattywampus. It's going to be fine. Be Committed. Fine. Hold your breath. Well, make sure these are lined up because that's going to be real weird if it's not. Then you just... So what I do there, watch this. Where's the scissors? Because I had to line this up because you got us going at an angle okay, here. Okay, you're going to cut those off? Yep. So you had us going at an angle. So now I've got my paper underneath, so I'm not committed on this half yet. So the letters are lined up. This rose and this flower is lined up. Because oh, no, this I one's not lined up. No, nope, we're coming all the way down. We're coming for it. Seb, I'm so glad you fixed all my things. All right, so we're going to come get this all the way back over to here. Okay, now that's ready to go down. All right. Phew. That's Anybody lined else up. Sweating? Your, your MacBook has low battery. Is it not plugged in? Uh oh, looks like we didn't plug it in. Okay. Well, Let's... we know it lasts an hour running a live stream. Let me go turn that on. Hang on. But Zeb's going to fix the camera. Sorry. So that was actually really smart. I'm glad you did that. We probably should have separated the words from the flowers to begin with. Okay, because... hang on real quick, and I'll put this down too. Oh, I'm out of your way. All right, so that stem needs to line up with that stem there. Make a cross by going from each corner. That would, that, I don't think that would work. Oh, I mean like for my other piece over there. Oh. Yeah, that would have been smart. We'll make it work though. It's like centered on the bottom. Like I did measure, mm. so it's not like horribly off. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sweetie. You're the best. Sometimes I fix his stuff. It's always surprising to me because Zeb's been editing way longer than me. And sometimes he'll be working on something and I'm like, oh, this is how you fix that. And I know how to do something with editing. Now that I've been editing on the Jamie Ray Vintage videos, I make a lot of mistakes. That's why I learned how to fix stuff. Don't let me forget See what that. I mean, there's like put the bigger sunflowers on this left side. Don't let me forget that, that wax should... in the fridge okay. or in the freezer. Oh, shoot. We want to pull it out and see if it's ready. All right. So this is the bottom, right? Yep. Those flowers are going up. I need it to be like this so I can yeah, see it. Yeah, it really does make a big difference. I should have done that, but I didn't. Doing this sideways is complicated. Next time, we'll just do one at a time. What will you charge? This one is 280 cuz we have to that ship was it. Enough time 289 the for this one. And this one is 224. If you put your wax in the freezer, don't leave it in there indefinitely. I mean, it'll, it'll just get hard and you'll have then yeah. you'll have to thaw it. So, it's better if you just put it in the fridge if you're going to for accidentally forget about it. All right, Were you planning on doing these ones on here or the big sunflowers? The big sunflowers. Although, you know what? Maybe if you did the lavender across like this bottom part. I think part, just the lavender across the bottom would be good. And then sunflowers up the side. Okay. Can you do that? And maybe that'll help. <laughs> do we, how much lavender do we have? There's one sheet. Do we have two sheets? I don't want to layer it over the top, so we'll have to like cut it down and bring it down. And if it's la like, I feel like that'll really trick the eye we have it's... two sheets so that'll but fit i don't know that you want to do all this because you want to leave room for those sunflowers don't you, want... you sweat it i'm just pulling my sheets out all right i'll leave you alone i know you got it i'm just going to be over here rubbing my flowers on now that you saved the day
This one is still, my frame is still wet. So I don't know that I'm going to get to gold waxing unless I heat gun it because it's got so much detail. It's just like sticking down in there. This one has more detail, but this one has more dark, like dark, deep crevices. All right, where'd the stick go to this one? I had it over here. I, I left it like right here. Did I take it? I left it on the mirror. I'll just go get another one out of the drawer. All right, or out of that other one. I, I it's going to be like it, a paint of palooza by the time we finish these, but we got to finish them, so we may as well stay on with you guys. Yeah, I'll check the, ca the thing. If Kayla needs to leave, I can monitor comments. While you finish, we probably won't get the other one finished all the way. We'll have to do that off camera. We'll at least get the transfers put on both of these. All right, now where did I put the part I, put? I just cut? <laughs> what? Now I can't find the transfer I just cut. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't watching. I'm over here intently rubbing off this transfer. People also like ask us all the time, like what a transfer is. It is a high end vinyl decor sticker. So it's like very thin vinyl. And it's not like the old school vinyl stickers. It's very, very thin, very detailed. The images are not pixelated. So some transfer brands will like over extend the images or they don't include enough pixels so there's not enough color in it these are very high end in that and the edges on these transfer what they call the halo are very close to the actual image so you don't get a huge wide border that's like glaringly obvious all important things it might look good from far away but all important things when you're purchasing a transfer one of the reasons we love Iron Orchid Designs because their quality is the best in the industry. I'm not saying the other transfer companies are bad because I don't like to talk bad about people. I just know that IOD sets the standard when it comes to quality. Their stuff is so good. All right, I'm going to show you this one. I might heat gun it so that way we can get some gold wax on there. But, oops, Zeb. Oh, <laughs> guess what we're going to be doing? What? Fixing the wire. It's the wrong way. I can't show them this though. Do you mind fixing the camera? Hold on. I, you, you chose to pick that up when I'm setting down oh, my transfer. It's fine. I can wait. <laughs> I just can't touch the camera because you don't like it. Because I'm not very good at it. There we go. Ta da. Let me slide this this way so you guys can see it. There is the completed transfer. So hard to take a picture of how cool that actually is. It's way cool. It, you know what? You just have to make sure what it's reflecting is really good. Um, we are going to put gold on the edge. So I think I'm going to try to heat gun and get that done. Yeah, you got a sec while I do this one. Okay. Caitlin needs to leave in a little bit because Jacob has to go in the office. So she's got to drop him off so she has the car. Okay. Let's get the heat gun and then I'll add some gold wax to this. When I'm putting transfers on mirrors, I don't like to use transfers that are like overly solid or like the Elysium is pretty solid. So when we do put it on this one, we'll probably just put like on the bottom. You want to leave enough space on the mirror that there's reflective quality left. I kind of cheated with this color combo. I knew it would look good because we've I've done, done it, it before. before. Shipping mirror, we talked about shipping mirrors is tricky like this. Locally, these will be about $100 less because we don't have to ship them. So I don't have two hours of packing labor, extra shipping costs, things like that. We do that on a lot of our bigger items. There's like an online price and then there's a local price. And we've had no problem. So basically what she's saying is just come visit us at the shop. Yeah. Because a trip's cheaper than shipping, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but if you're flying and this ain't coming home on a plane with yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. You'd have to package it just as crazy. I don't think a lot of people factor that in, like, 
you know, some people like we used to drive hours to go pick furniture up. I'm like, what are we doing? We just spent all the profit on our time to go pick it up fuel. We ate out while we were gone because it was during lunchtime and we get this now, now we've got like this dresser or whatever that we went and picked up but two hours away when we could have shipped it and it would have cost us a third the amount, even though shipping, when you think about it, you're like, Oh, I don't want to pay for that, but it's actually cheaper than going and picking it up. And just lightly distressing the detail on this before I gold wax it. The nice thing about this one is this frame is wood and I love a good wood frame. For all the people that don't say paint wood, I am bringing back some of the wood by distressing. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they meant. Oh, that wasn't it. I have to say this spray was pretty ugly before. It's kind of one dimensional. It's not a super deep design on there. Well, I mean, it looks great painted, but yeah, not the best. Would you go say Cody, Odelia? Mom just let him out. I'm mostly just hitting like the high up spots. If I were to use like a random orbital, it would probably get through the dark stain, which is not what I want. I want the dark parts to come through. Oh, Leslie says she's watching for where you place the sunflowers. No pressure. Oh, all right. <laughs> Did you have a little brush for this? Yeah, it's right over there under those paper towels. Okay. There you go. Um, is that a mirror on the range top? Yes, that is a mirror that we, so you'll have to watch the replay. Zeb, see, the wax is a little funky looking because it dried up weird, but the wax is fine because it was melted earlier. But yes, that's a mirror that we took the transfer off of earlier in the episode. I'm just gonna bring a little gold detail into this. What I love about the gold wax is it's not like crazy harsh. It's like a really soft gold and I like that. You can layer the gold on and really make it darker, but I don't like I don't like it like that. I like just a soft little bit of metallic. Okay, so I cut the bottom off of this one a little bit so that it was lower down. And then this part of the, the transfer that goes right here, I'm just going to kind of work it and I think I want to cut that piece off too. All right, so these are now just half of what they were. Oh, we almost committed right there. When Zeb says committed, he means like when you lay it down and it's attached to the glass, you can't move it. Oh! What'd you do? Did you just spill a bunch of gold wax on there? Don't, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> I'm not doing well. What is my closest airport? Uh, Provo or Salt Lake are about the same distance. They're, yeah, they're almost identical. Provo is easier to fly into, but I think right now they're only flying a legion out of there. 
Um, and Breeze. Yeah. Breeze Airways. But Salt Lake is a big international airport. Like you can go anywhere from there. All right, I fixed it. Okay, well, mine is done. So I will uh, help you with yours. What can I do to help? Um, do you want me to gold wax the frame? No, can you get me some sunflowers ready to go? You ready for me to not gold wax it? Yeah, After I'm, what I I'm just all did? over it right here. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me put this back here. I just want to get these flowers underneath so I can show them that. Okay. Because there's actually a little more to it than just slapping them on here. Because if your transfers overlap, it's okay on a mirror, but if you're ever distressing transfers and they're overlapped, that other transfer will come through and you can really see that it's overlapped. It doesn't look very good. So I'm being careful to not overlap my transfers, even though we're on a mirror, not going to distress it. It just looks better. So I'm thinking a couple sunflowers on each side. So I'll cut these out and then we'll figure out what stems to go with. Okay. And then we'll just add the leaves. When do not. Sherry, furniture doesn't know how long you haven't got to it. So take a deep breath and make a plan and go from there. I have some pieces that I didn't finish or didn't turn out the way that I wanted to. And sometimes if I make a plan and I sit down and say, okay, these are the steps that I want to do. What can I accomplish today? And then just take my time with it it's easier than saying, oh, I got to get this all finished. Like today I'm going to start with the, the light scuff sanding and clean it. Tomorrow I'm going to prime it if I'm going to prime it or put my base color on. And maybe I'm only going to do the top and then I'm going to do the side because sometimes I don't have time to finish projects all the way, especially if they're not something I'm doing for a video. And so I just do a little bit. That's kind of how we did. We were supposed to move the kids' bedrooms at Christmas time. They're still, they're moved, but not all the way finished. And here we are in August. And we finally just had to rip it off like a Band-Aid and realize we couldn't get it all done in one day. So we would just do as much as we can and then keep, you know, bite-sized pieces, you know, taking well, bite-sized pieces and the, get it done. Really the big part of it was getting the stuff out of each room so that they could move their stuff into the rooms. Like that giant built-in bunk bed that I had in there was... It was a lot of effort to get out of the room. So these are all rose bottoms, right? Petite problemo. Like, where's the rest of the stick? Do we just use this one? All right. Well, I'll let you figure out how to. You can just mine. build them however you want. Like, do you just cut this off here and then attach it? Like, what does that go to? So I'm not using the pink flowers. I'll have to use that on a different one. The roses, yeah. I don't know that they go with those Where do you buy the transfers? Um, JamieRayVintage.com. If you scroll back just a little bit, Caitlin dropped a link to the transfer that we're using right now. Caitlin's headed out to take Jacob to work. But um, yes, jamierayvintage.com. Let me see if I can just drop the website in case you can't. Sometimes it's weird on live videos. You can't scroll so back. So you just, the drop down is like an IOD and then there will be molds, transfers, inlays, uh, stamps in the IOD menu. And you just want to go to the transfers. All right. Well, IOD is short for Iron Orchid Designs. We only have, I think that this was supposed to be shorter. Like that's how long that is. I have one, two, three stems. So good luck. I'll cut out the pieces. You could probably fix it with like some leaves or something.
Leslie oh, says, no. bite-sized pieces is key. My house is awful. I'm determined to get to it today. I'm, yeah, I, I am not a like clean person. I do find though, when I do get things, like I complete a task, it is better, at least for a little while, keeping on top of it. Sometimes I have to remind the humans that I live with that we are now picking things up. <laughs> <laughs> you missed my eyes. Oh, you were looking at me. Yeah. People always I always think, pick things up. I just stack them where you don't want them to be. They're always picked up. <laughs> um, a lot of people think because I'm kind of, I see like the disheveled one that I'm the messy one, but that's not actually true. I'm not, not messy. I'm just not like the sole messy person. So adding that lavender really helped balance that out. I knew, I knew it would be all right. It would be okay in the end. Renee said she started using ashwagandha. I actually take ashwagandha before I go to bed. Helps me sleep. Have you ever used Milots? I've had problems with every page, all different projects. Yeah. Um, I haven't, like, what's your, Lori, if you email info at JamieRayVintage.com with what specifically you had problems with, we might be able to address it. But um, I have used it. A couple of times, especially all the flowers, I, those are my favorite. I kind of wish they were all flower pages. I actually need to, now that it's getting to be fall, I need to bust out my pumpkin sheets from Millet's Transfer because I was kind of waiting for this time of year. Okay, we're going to finally get to some flowers here in a second. And we might just get like one on there so you can see it. But no, we we're going to go. I'm going to finish this. All right, well, you'll be, we're you'll be all right. Palooza. You've already waited this long for breakfast. Let's just push that off to lunch. I'm doing intermittent fasting, not by my own free will. No, I did have two strawberries out of the garden and three cherry tomatoes. Here, let's have you do this one. Oh, okay. well. Or you can at least clean it. Yeah, I'm like, careful with your pieces. I'm like, I can't, can't really put a transfer on that. Thanks for giving me this. It's going to be amazing. You'll do so good. <laughs> you can have that. There's a lot of elements over here. Some of these are like roses. Yeah, so I cut you out the sunflowers and the stems. I feel like the camera's really high. Let's bring this back down to earth so you guys can see more of what's going on there. We have it. The thing with millets is there's lots of little tiny elements, so that can be, it's kind of like words. It's, there's not as many big spots. That might be a struggle too. Where's the little razor blade? You know what I love best about your wet dressing on this mirror? It got down in all the, because this mirror is antique, mm -hmm. it got down in all the cracks. It's good. All right, so all these stems are going, okay, here's a stem that goes this way. Okay. So you guys, for the video that's coming out Thursday on our anniversary that we're gonna film later today, would you rather see one project or do you wanna see a bunch of thrift flips? I personally just wanna do thrift flips because I have to do them anyways, but I just don't know what you guys like better. Or should we do like thrift flips and spray something? We don't really have room for any more furniture in the shop. Although we did sell the bench from last week. If you watch till the end of my videos, sometimes there's little Easter eggs. That's why I shared a picture on there. I was like, did anybody watch the end of my video? Because I shared that it had sold, but it was like on the tippy tippy end. So you gotta watch the end. I'll try to every now and then throw a little something extra. Cause YouTube actually gives us, like if people watch till the end of our videos and don't dive off early and they have solid watch time, we actually will do better because they'll say, oh, this was really good to the end. So I'm gonna refer it to more people. If people dive off, then YouTube doesn't um, show it to as many people. So that's why I'm doing the little Easter eggs at the end of the video. Kind of, is it Marvel that does it? Yeah. Makes people stick around. Thrift flips and spray, please. Thrift flips, thrift flips. I miss your paint paloozas. They're not gone. The paint and pluses aren't gone. We just haven't done one in like two weeks. All right. Yeah. We've just been busy. 
it'll be easier actually to do them now the kids are back in school. It's really hard to commit to three hours of live filming. Dave, when, can you go see what the AC is at? It feels warm in here. I think we just, it's like a high stress situation here. I don't feel stressed. You have so much uh, grease still on this picture frame. I didn't. 66? 76? Yeah, it was worse. Whew. I was going to say, 66 some, should be feeling nice and cool. What did they say? Rubbing alcohol helps? So can you give me some rubbing alcohol? It's in my medicine cabinet. Thanks, Odelia. Still got one child. One I child. Still got one child. You're not a child. You're an adult. I'm going to start making you take one week a month where you buy all the groceries. I don't think she's she going to have to get three jobs for that in this house. <laughs> We don't just feed the kids that live here. We feed all the neighborhood kids, too. The summer has been fun. Luckily, we've been supplementing a lot of that with garden stuff. You'd be surprised how many kids randomly walk by and pop a cherry tomato in their mouth when they're just sitting out there. Right. We put it. So when we're not working on projects, we have all of our vegetables sitting here. I actually need, I bet our pickles we made last week are probably about ready to eat. There you go. There's some Thanks, alcohol. Okay, I got the stem here. It's going up right direction. And then we're going to just plop this big one right on there. Now this is overlapping. I remember I was having a little rant about overlapping, but I'm not distressing this and it's just a little bit, like just a tiny little corner of it. Just a little wee baby. It's not like half the transfer over the top. So I'm, I'm going to live. I'll be okay. Painterly is an eight transfer sheet, isn't it? Or eight so. sheet transfer? Yeah, I think it's a big, a it's lot one of, of the elements. bigger ones. And if I recall correctly, Josie, who owns IOD, this is one of the few things they didn't just license the imaging. I believe she painted those flowers, if I remember correctly. Yeah. How about starting with a few of your engagement pictures? Wedding, honeymoon. Oh, you guys want to see pictures, do you? Seb and I were babies. I'll see if I if I can find. I some. still had a little bit of hair. It was actually already. I was already balding at seventeen. So, you know, I'm I'm blessed with some. Well, we didn't get married really at good 17. hair genes. No, but that's when we started having pictures together. That is true. Prom pictures. All right, let's see if there's rubbing alcohol. So a little rubbing alcohol. I am missing one of my stents. See if I get that. Zeb used lemon oil. That worked great to get the... Uh, it worked really good to get it off, but it's still greasy. A little vinegar and a little water. Okay, this one here, I don't really have a stem for it. So I'm just going to like run it right up against... This oval beer there. is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty fantastic as is. All right, comment below. Should we put a transfer on this one or should we just leave it the way it is? Because I'm kind of vibing on as is. If I can ever get this grease off of here. And it's got like... I told you, this... get some Dawn. Like you're fighting the getting the Dawn because you're worried it's going to make your mirror streaky, but you're never going to get that I'm grease I'm not fighting off. getting the Dawn. I feel like you are. You're not the boss of me. Just do it. Obey me. Obey me. <laughs> that doesn't work so well. All right. Now I got Dawn on there. Are you happy? But it is funny to say. <laughs> we said that once on a video and somebody was like super offended. I'm like, Devin, that's like a huge joke between the two of us. Obey me. They said leave it as is. It's All like right. when Cooper Cooper told you that, that you needed to do some women's, women's work. work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julia's like... Zeb always says that I could never be like, stay, just like not, I don't want to say just stay at home mom, but like not have a business. And I'm like, listen, Linda, we ain't never tried it. <laughs> so how do we know? <laughs> All right. This is really not. All right. Is it any better? Have I broken through any layers of schmear? I 
have to rinse I'm gonna the I'm going to sneak off. a leaf up in there. I'm just going to go buy some window cleaner, that degreasing window cleaner. I'm sure they make that. I need like newspaper. I've now killed an entire tree. Sorry to all my earth friendly, but I saved an old mirror. So does it like level out? There's a little bit of Dawn and I just had water. It looks better. It doesn't. It is so bad. You know where it came clean, actually, where the paint was? The paint pulled the grease off. So, like, there's this edge around here that doesn't have any grease. Because when I cleaned the paint off, it took it with it. I'm done struggling with this. I'm going to get some window cleaner off camera because it's still pretty schmeary. But look how pretty that frame is. I was thinking Elysium on here, but I really just love this the way it is. And we already have two transfer mirrors to put in the shop. And I like to have like a, a good variety. So if these two mirrors sell, then I'll put a transfer on something else. All right. How's your... I'm building a collage over here. You're building a masterpiece? Yep. Looks great from here. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. I'm actually just going to go get some. They, I, they make some like heavy duty type window cleaner. It'll cut the grease. And then I won't have to use a whole roll of paper towels using vinegar and alcohol and Dawn. <laughs> Love white wax over dark color. So this actually isn't white wax. This is um, white linen paint. And then before it dried, Zeb used a damp rag and wiped it back. So it's a, a similar appearance to white wax, only it's like more solid where the paint is, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. And so are you going to, the question, I was going to do gold on there. Are you going to I know, I kind of like it just the way that it is. Okay. I mean, I can do gold. Let's see. Do gold on the rose detail. What do you think, Zeb? Yeah, I feel like it gives it kind of a little more grungy. All right. Gold it is. Zep is a great window cleaner. I think they sell that at Home Depot. Zeb always has people like misspell his name all the time because they, they use voice to text or they can't hear what we're saying. So the, for the first time ever, where were we at? We um, called you Seth. We were at oh, Taco, Taco Amigo. Amigo. Yeah, I was on our back. They're like, can I get a name for that order? I'm like, yeah, Zeb. We roll up to the window. They got Seth written on there on my artworks. I, I'll answer to that. Okay, we're almost ready for the I reveal. I just used John vinegar and alcohol together. That's where we're at. I just put it all on my... Rag. It's still greasy. I, yeah, I have used it before. Like when I made my own window cleaner back in the day. And when I run out a window and I cleaner and I still make my own window cleaner. I actually have some commercial window cleaner at the shop I could try it's for cleaning exterior windows. It's taken me a little longer to do this layout because you want it, you don't want it to look like your flowers are floating. Yeah, they gotta they gotta be grounded. And Zeb is the layout master. He's taken many more art classes than me. Oh, we've now been on an hour and a half. It's all right. If you're just tuning in, we're just making over some frames. We did the one behind us with Americana and Flora Princess. And this is painterly floral transfer with Hay Sailor. 
It's Parisiensis. Parisiensis. That's what we're going All right, with. Do you want me to start adding gold wax to your frame here? Yeah, sure. Start up on this corner. Oh, yeah, I guess you can start in that corner there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this flower off. I got the stem on there, but I want this stem to come, come up above it just the way these are. And they're big, so I don't want to overlap them too bad. So this was already clear wax, so it'll help me not get the gold to where I can't wipe it back because this was DIY paint. So if you put straight up gold wax on DIY paint, it won't wipe back as easy. So you've got to do clear wax first, create a little barrier. What if instead of doing a live or a, uh, a edited video, if we just go live tomorrow morning? No, I want to do an edited one. And do a paint a palooza. We got to do. I, I don't want to do it tomorrow. We got a busy day. Joe's going to the temple. We have a football game. It's our anniversary. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. We have the football game in the afternoon on Thursdays because Eliza cheers for JV. Yeah, we have a full day. We got to we got to get that video done today. I'm thinking we'll just do a mock type paint palooza, get a bunch of thrift flips finished, get the spray gun out. Odelia, if there's any weird comments, let me know. Cuz I'm away from the screen. You know, we haven't had any like weird spam comments in a long time. Yeah, I feel like YouTube is doing better at catching those accounts than they used to because somebody the other day was noticing that like we don't have the weird it used to be if we ever stayed on over an hour it was like creepy people came out okay oh that's looking good with the gold all right you want me are yeah. we done with the design yeah i'm not doing okay anything let's just else. show them the design i can finish gold waxing because i get the idea and then we'll show them the other one actually i just needs like one leaf okay where'd you go with the leaves over there it looks like it's he's gonna finish his design we'll show it to you well i could probably get the gold on here if i just got to it i was like leisurely gold waxing it's really not that complicated So if you're just tuning in, because I know a few people are, we are just redoing some mirrors. And if you need these paint and products or these mirrors, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. They're actually in the thrift hall collection, except for this one, um, the unfinished. Mirrors so are, I will the update. transfers aren't. Yeah. I did link, the transfers are linked. Like I linked the transfers. Okay, let me just finish it. Not the specific transfers, but the, the collection of transfers. And we were going to put a transfer on this one, but I kind of like the way it is. The, the frame has so much going on and it's oval. I feel like transfers are a really great option for a square frame. It doesn't have a whole lot going on. All right. So this one, we removed a transfer. And it's still a little schmeary. Let me so bring gotta... it back so you can see the whole thing. All right. Just, just a hair. There we go. We got it all in there. I'll just slide And then I'm going to bring it close so you can see the gold and also the distress on there. All right. Okay, so that's with the gold. Then you can see the distress around the rim there. It turned out pretty good. You show them the other one and then by the time you show them the other one, I will be done with this one. I need you to scooch again. <clears throat> okay. And then here's this one here. Trying to get it all in there. 
it's hard to see the floral on there because this one has a lot of reflection. But if you're in person, it looks really good. Let me see if bringing it closer helps. Oh, yeah, there you can see the floral real good on there. Oops, I got a little on the mirror. We have to wipe that off. All right, hold on. I got to get this. I'm just wiping it back a little bit more to bring back some of the bring navy. some of that navy back. And it will lighten up a little bit when the wax cures. Because the wax is still pretty wet and fresh. Now we can show them this one. And I think we need to clean up a little bit on it. But it's looking yeah, the mirror, the mirror needs a little more cleanup on this one. Ta-da! But there's that layout there with the little lavender down below and then the big sunflowers up along the sides. And it looks a little dark, but that is navy, so it's not quite as dark in real life. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. If you need the paint products or these mirrors, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. See you on the next episode.